I remember the first time I tried out pho. I remember driving a Miata for the first time. Such experiences were life-changing. But the first thing out of my mouth when I first saw these things? What the hell is that? 181 horsepower? They boiled the beef? 151 pound-feet of torque? And they could have at least seared the meat, right? No cargo or living space. No roof. Why am I not just eating a steak instead? And why am I not even driving a sports car with power? What was it that changed my life with these two experiences? Did I learn that a dish doesn't have to look gorgeous to taste incredible? Did I learn that when driving a Miata, it's not about how I look when driving a Miata, but rather how I feel? Here is Paulo's brand new 2020 Mazda Miata MX-5 ND2. This paint color is called Soul Red Crystal Metallic. Indeed, a soulful color for a soulful car. And to match the beautiful exterior, the interior is also very, very nice. The best thing about this car? The way it drives. So now, Paulo and I are going on a drive. <laughs> Surprised you fit. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> the steering column? <laughs> yeah. Your knee's pretty much bashed into it right mm -hmm. now. It's not great. Well, it could benefit from like a couple of inches in like maybe decreasing the dash distance into the cabin. So you can actually have space for your knees. Yeah. But as per Mazda, fuck my knees. <laughs> Who cares if your knees are bruised or not? When you're smiling. Paulo's got this car entirely paint protection filmed. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if these door... They're not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How can you have any stress in your life when you're driving a Miata? Yeah, I've like... actually noticed my road rage kind of levels tone down a lot for this car. <laughs> There's not many good sounding four cylinders. This is a smooth and like kind of throaty sounding four cylinder. I, I like that. The only thing I would change about this car is if there was a throttle by cable conversion, that would turn this car into like, into heaven. I, I've <laughs> seen a throttle by cable conversion done on like a Mazda 3. Well, then why can't you to this? It's a similar powertrain. <laughs> Let's do it, man. I don't think it was dialed in the right way when I drove it, uh, <laughs> so it I wasn't see. as fun. So you've been ripping on it, and it's only averaging 11 liters per hundred. <laughs> yeah, which is amazing. <laughs> It's fantastic. Okay, now we are breaking the law by quite a bit, so I'm gonna definitely tone it down <laughs> as he enters a parking lot. With fire in our hearts, we decided to ignite our stomachs at Cafe Zhu Hui. A perfect accompaniment for the Soul Red Miata? Some Bumbahoy. It's basically the same as Pho with beef and noodles, but this is soul red. And it's not metallic or crystal, luckily. But just like the Miata, it's tasty. I was gonna ask why Paulo has a catch can installed, as well as full paint protection film, which you can imagine is not cheap. And then I realized that he loved it, and rightfully so. I love it as well. He also informed me that soul red metallic paint isn't exactly the most reliable of paints, however gorgeous it is. And he wants to keep it looking pristine for as long as it possibly can. I was originally gonna compare the ND2 Miata to a Big Mac because both are recognizable and both have gotten smaller over the years. But I remembered that Bumbahoy is spicy and that spiciness reminds me of this MX-5's rear hole. It looks like one, no? 
you want the roof up? No. Here's a fun fact. Yeah. It's kind of drizzling right now. The roof yeah. is down mm -hmm. and the wipers are going. Yeah. <laughs> we should probably put the roof up. Fuck. <laughs> and look at that. The car is so simple. Not only is it easy to drive, but even a chimpanzee like me can work the top. I've never seen a person driving one of these without a smile on their face. I mean, it's only because you're here right now that I'm smiling. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you, man. Through experiencing pho, I learned there are many different methodologies in making tasty food, and not everything has to be seared. Through experiencing a Miata, I learned driving can be fun, even with econo box levels of power. And like many others who are enthralled by the love of driving, a Miata sparked my passion. And this Miata, 30 years after the first one came out, I know will spark and fuel many more generations of gearheads to come. This thing is, this thing is a hoot, <laughs> as some would say. I'm getting smogged out by this guy. Yeah. He needs piston rings, like badly. Oh my god. It smells that's, disgusting. That's dank. <laughs> it, it smells like weed too. It smells too. like, well, there's a dispensary there. Oh. Thank you for watching and for joining me on this journey of eating food and driving cars. This journey has just started and I really enjoy making these videos. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel Follow me on Instagram, and I'd really appreciate any feedback. Good or bad or offensive is totally fine. See you in the next one.